Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to check out another video inventory update. We got some beautiful new saltwater animals to show you today. Uh, I got a beautiful shipment yesterday. Here is uh, some Sally Lightfoot crabs. Uh, very good uh, cleanup crew. They like to pick off the rocks, keep things clean, excellent for in a reef tank. Um, also got in some nice uh, neon gobies. These are a uh, cleaning goby. They will help pick parasites and other unwanted stuff off of your fish. And they're pretty cool. They hang out on the rocks and stuff. Pretty neat animal. Uh, have a little bit of a personality. Also got in some nice uh, horseshoe crabs. Another excellent uh, bottom feeder help keep the bottom of the tank clean. Got a flame scallop here. Very cool uh, filter feeder. Some nice uh, sea cucumbers. Another type of filter feeder that will help sift through the sand as well. Uh, another uh, really cool uh, pearly jawfish hanging on the bottom there. Those are uh, great bottom dwelling uh, goby type animals. Uh, do excellent in a reef tank. Some very cool uh, arrow crabs. Nice selection of a variety of starfish. Got red knobby stars. We've got some serpent stars. A couple different varieties of those. There's some harlequins back there. Uh, brittle stars. And also a Bahama star there. Uh, great cleanup animals. Help to keep things clean. Algae and detritus in the tank. Some nice large hermit crabs, a couple big guys of those. And those will do okay even in most uh, fish only tanks as long as you're not using any meds. Nice selection of uh, pike gobies. These are yellow headed pike, I'm sorry, blennies. Yellow headed pike blennies. Got a couple of those guys in here. Very cool. And another one with a really unique personality. Uh, some more red scarlet hermit crabs. <clears throat> Another arrow crab there. A uh, breeding pair of coral banded shrimp. Also got on some nice lettuce nudibranch. Uh, great for keeping hair algae and other types of nuisance algae at bay. And over in the fish system, beautiful Brazilian uh, larger queen angel there. She's about uh, five, six inch body size. Beautiful fish um, and will do excellent in most fish only tanks. Also a real nice large porcupine puffer. Look, uh, <laughs> checking out the camera there. Cool fish. Uh, these guys are a little bit on the aggressive side. Uh, they will eat whatever they can fit in their mouth, so you got to be a little bit careful with that. But do great in larger community aquariums. Also got in some French grunts. They're being a little bit shy now, but uh, great uh, active fish. Nice color, blue and yellow lines on them, and do great in most community aquariums. Up here we got some more of those beautiful uh, small uh, Atlantic blue tangs. Uh, these guys are about two inch body size. I got couple different sizes of these very rare fish and hardly ever see these and they're very very cool um, another nice queen here this is a little bit smaller she's about four inches transition transitioning into adult size uh, beautiful fish and also will do well in most community aquariums here we've got a beautiful uh, small juvenile French angelfish um, another great uh, larger angelfish variety that will do well in a bigger tank as well as a reef butterfly all these came out of the Caribbean. Uh, let's see, looking over here, here's some more of those medium blue tangs. And you can see they're yellow, they start to turn blue as they uh, transition to adult coloration. Also got a chalk bass there, and a sharp nose puffer hanging out in the corner here. Uh, let's see. Here we got some nice, <clears throat> excuse me, blue headed wrasses. Great active community fish. Um, it does well in uh, most community or semi-aggressive tanks. A couple of those guys came in. Let's see. Here we got some juveniles of those blue-headed wrasse. These guys still have some of the yellow coloration. They're starting to turn blue. Um, juvenile variety, but another great uh, community fish. Really cool uh, green file fish here. Excellent uh, reef dweller as well as a very cool uh, green trunk fish. This is similar to like a box fish in the box fish family, a cowfish. Uh, unique fish, the one you don't see very often. Some really cute uh, porcupine puffers and a couple burr fish also came in. These guys are about oh, four inch body size, I'd say. And up here we got a banded butterfly and a four spot butterfly. Excellent community fish, not usually recommended for a reef aquarium as they will pick at corals, polyps, etc. Here we got some pork fish, great bottom dwelling for the most part, um, community aquarium fish, and uh, very unique, uh, only come out of the Caribbean, very cool fish, and a blue uh, parrot fish there, uh, one you hardly ever see as well. Very nice uh, specimen there. Also got a nice selection of anemones. We got both um, Haitian pink tips as well as curly cues. 
and let's see if I can, there's one, the beautiful, a couple beautiful Atlantic Jewel damsels as well. Um, not as aggressive as their Pacific counterparts and uh, striking colors on these guys, really nice addition for most community aquariums. And in the reef section, I did get a few more blennies and gobies, but I think they're going to be shy on us here. Um, there's a masked goby, uh, a couple of bridled gobies, and a molly miller, but you know, they are not going to... I just turned the lights on a little bit ago, so they're just not going to want to come out and show themselves. But very cool fish. Come check... Oh, there's a sailfin blenny as well. He came in as well yesterday. Um, very cool fish. Come check them out. If there's anything you like, Give us a call, 414-546-2201. We'd be happy to put it on hold for you. And as always, have a great day.